There you go. Friends, life is hard. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Life is hard. It really is. But you know what? It doesn't have to be. I'm going to tell you some life hacks. Ladies and gentlemen, I am now going to present to you a presentation. I have a slide deck here of different slides. Uh, I have not seen any of the slides except for this first one. Okay? But I'm going to tell you some life hacks. Now listen, life can be hard, but there are simple little things you can do to make yourself easier. Make things easier. What's one thing we all have to do? We all have to do laundry, right? Okay, this is my first life hack. Listen, when the laundry is piling up and you just have just mound and mound of, of, of dirty laundry on the floor, you've got nothing in your closed drawers or in your closet, here's what you got to do. You got to do this. You got to take your laundry out to the beach where this pig named Jenkins and his bird friend Jojo, Jenkins and Jojo, they will wash your clothes. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, a pig and a bird how do they wash clothes? Trust me, it works. They've got a whole crew of little fish that swim along and will get your clothes clean. Now here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna find Jojo and, and the pig name who's escaped me, Jen Jensen, Jenkins, you're gonna find them. You're gonna dump all your clothes into this, this, uh, this uh, serene lagoon. They will get to work. Then you have to go around and you have to click, pick up all your clothes. But let me tell you, it beats taking them to the cleaners and you won't have to spend money uh, having them washed. And uh, there you go. So, uh, there you go. Uh, that's step one. Now, here's another thing. Food bills. Uh, inflation being what it is, food bills are at an all-time high. But you know what? There's a way around it. Check out this life hack. You just... Uh, <sighs> Busy yourself looking at new emojis. That's right. Look at these emojis. This is called cool crying. Cool crying is for when uh, you you don't want to cry because you don't want you want to you know keep a real like tough demeanor around your friends. But you got a cool you got to do a cool cry. This is the uh, the shifty eye bagger, and uh, this is what you do when like your friend tells a joke that's not funny. You send him this one, and then you're just like yeah yeah it's really good. And then the other one is am I in love? I don't know. Like you've seen, you've seen a beautiful person who is attractive to you walk down the street, but they are with a partner or another man, and you're like, hmm, should I break up their relationship just for my happiness? That's what you need that emoji for. See? None of you are thinking about you being hungry, right? No, because we started talking about these emojis. So next time you're hungry and you can't afford food, just think about these new emojis. They're always releasing new ones. Okay, uh, but here's the thing, friends. Finding work, finding work is tough. Here's a surefire way. Let me show you a surefire way to find a new job. If you're down and out, you need a new job, just do this. Lay down, go to sleep, and think in your head about a gorilla wading in to the water. Just think about that. I guarantee you that when you wake up in the morning, you will have the idea for the perfect job for you. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, how could a dream help me have a perfect job? It's not just any dream. You need a dream about this gorilla waiting in this lake with this grass in front of her and that tree stump in the back. You need this exact dream. When you have this exact dream, you will find your perfect job. I'm going to move out of the way so you can screenshot this. Okay, there you go. Now you're just going to watch that all night. You're just going to look at it. As you fall asleep, if you have this dream, you will find a job. You will find a job. Now, here's the thing. Here's a lot of the life hack. Okay? <sighs> do we get along with our family? No, we don't. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. In fact, this very night, tonight, I left a family group chat because it started veering into politics. And I don't have time for that shit. So here's how to get away, get out of family obligations. This is a guaranteed thing that will work anytime you have a family obligation to go to. You just do this. You don a little monocle and a full furry outfit. The little monocle fur, you have to dress as a little cocker spaniel. This is head to toe. And uh, you just, uh, 
a Springer Spaniel, maybe? Anyway, you put on the coat, you put on the tails, you put on the shoes, you put on the cane, you get the little monocle, and then you look at your family and say, I don't have time for this shit. And then you just walk out, and your family's going to go, was that a fancy dog that just sw- looked at us through a monocle and swore and walked out of the room? And then they will just forget all about you. You'll be fine. You'll be fine! Now, let's say you have a neighbor that's really annoying. They're playing music late at night. They're making noise all the time. They have parties. They don't invite you. There's an easy way to nip that problem in a bud that doesn't involve moving, like I just did. What you need to do is this. You go out, you greet, and you say, greet my fist, thou artless toad-spotted wench. And then you just punch them right in the face. This is uh, probably one of my most obvious life pro tips. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it works. It works. Uh, just walk up to him and you just calmly say, greet my fist, thou artless toad-spotted wench. Smack. Right in the face. Now, yeah! I know probably a lot of you in the chat want life pro tips on something. So, in the chat right now, tell me what kind, what kind of advice would you like? How would you, what kind of life pro tip would you like? I got one for you while you're thinking of that. How about getting the best deal? You know, like you always go out to a store, you see something you want, you want to get the best deal. This is what you got to do. You got to bring a cat with you. Who can resist a cat? Who can resist a cat? Nobody. There's not a salesman on earth that can resist a cat, especially if it's a cat in a refrigerator. You might have to bring the entire refrigerator along too with the cat. Travel separately, but before you show up, anyway, that's how you get a good deal. That's how you get a good deal, all right? Uh, So you just bring a cat to any deal, negotiate. You want to buy a new car? Bring a cat in a fridge. You want to buy a new house? Cat fridge. You're going to get the best deals you've ever had in your entire life because they'll remember you. They'll go, remember that guy that came in with the cat in the fridge? Yeah, we should sell him a house. Let's do it. All right. Um, the Jukesters would like to advice on picking a good restaurant for your birthday. Oh, my gosh. This is such a great, this is fantastic. If you are looking for the best restaurant for your birthday, there's one surefire way to pick the best restaurant. The, and have no wait, no reservations. Just go on in, have the best food in your entire life, and that's do this. Uh, this intricate dance, okay? This is called the... I need a good restaurant for my birthday dance. You just stand in the middle of, uh, like, DeVal Street. You just go there, and you do this. Down at the side, up and split. Out to the side, one arm up, one arm over. Then leg up while arms are out. Then this leg, touch this knee. Hey, everybody, look at me. Doing the squat on one leg. I don't want to have to beg. I want a restaurant. You just do that. You do it ten times, and you will find yourself... A restaurant. Azure Hager wants to know about getting started in engineering, especially if you want to make your own road. Let me tell you, it's not easy. It's not easy to build your own railroad. But there's a, there's a, I can give you a tip that'll start you on your way. Hey, uh, Burgethon, thank you for following. Here's one thing that'll get you on your way if you want to start your own railroad. It's, uh, you got to go buy two kangaroos and you got to have one kangaroo look at the other and say, uh, yeah. You're going to want to go to the doctor and get that looked at. Now, see, I told you it's not going to be easy. First, you have to find two kangaroos, okay? That's, you got to go to Australia to do, right? Then, second, you got to teach one of the kangaroos to talk and understand the concept of having something looked at by a doctor. Then, you have to have the other kangaroo stand up straight while the one that can talk bends over and inspects the stomach. Once you get a kangaroo to say that, choo-choo, you have a train. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope these life pro tips have been very, these life hacks have been good and helped you along your way, but there's one that's very, very important, and this one means a lot to me. This is how you live a full life. I do this every single morning, and let me tell you, my life has never been as full. This is what, this is the secret to a long, full life, right here. Working out but setting your weights on fire so you work out faster. Let me tell you, you will never work out as fast as you do when your weights are on fire. You douse gasoline or kerosene on either weight. You got you say, I gotta do 50 squats. You will do those squats so fucking fast because they're on fire. And that, ladies and gentlemen, 
are some life pro life hacks just for you. Do 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 do.